describe the process or the algorithm of the Monte Carlo method for the solution of partial differential equation for a two-dimensional well-known partial differential equation, the Laplace equation. As you see here, uh, uh, the, uh, any Monte Carlo method for, uh, for, the, for the solution of partial differential equation consists of three steps. Step one, step two, and step three. The first step, uh, as I've written uh, here, is just for the fixed step on the Carlo method. For a variable step for flo or floating step Monte Carlo methods, the first step can be omitted. Okay, let's start. This is the Laplace equation. You see the second uh, side of the equation is zero. At the first step, we have to discretize the partial differential equation using, uh, for example, finite difference uh, concepts. Here, uh, I've written the finite difference uh, form of the second derivative of t with respect to x, uh, as you see here, uh, I have uh, a grid here, or the mesh, the numerical mesh, uh, i and j are indices of the points of the mesh or the grid points, this is the point i and j, this is i plus 1 and j, the right point, the left one is i minus 1 and j, the upper one i and j plus 1, the lower one i and J minus 1. This is our fixed step Monte Carlo grid. Uh, the grid spacing in x and y directions are delta x and delta y, um, not uh, necessarily identical. Uh, for you, you may have different uh, mesh sizes in x and y directions. The other point here is that uh, if you extend this equation to a three dimensional form, you can easily change the solution. So I've just written the two-dimensional form. Uh, the three-dimensional uh, form of the equation just adds complexities, mathematical complexities, nothing more. Okay, uh, this is the partial derivative in uh, x direction. You can uh, similarly write the partial derivative in the other direction, uh, y, and then substitute these two uh, finite differences into the main governing equation and, uh, and uh, move the different terms in the equation and uh, transfer the, uh, the partial differential equation into this framework. Or, yeah, as you see the, the unknown uh, function at the central point, I and, J, I, and J, I and J, is written on the left hand side with the coefficient 1. You see the leading coefficient is 1. And the other points uh, are written in, in, the, in the other side of the equation. This is our uh, framework in Monte Carlo method. This is the right point, point t sub i plus 1j. This is the left node, this one, i minus 1 and j. This is the, the upper point and the lower point. The coefficients are p sub x plus, p sub x minus, p sub y plus, and p sub y minus in two-dimensional case. Uh, these coefficients uh, are written here. It, it's, so, it's so straightforward to derive these coefficients. Just substitute these uh, finite difference in the, in the equation. p x plus and p sub x minus are equal, and both of them equal uh, uh, 1 over delta x uh, squared. And the denominator is twice uh, 1 over delta x squared plus 1 over delta y squared. Similarly, p sub y plus and p sub y minus uh, are this one. Uh, and the other point here is that if you uh, substitute this expression, delta x equals delta y, uh, I mean if you discretize this equation over a uniform grid with equal grid spacing in both directions, uh, these coefficients simplify to 1 over 4 and 1 over 4, both of them equal. This means that uh, all these coefficients are uh, identical, uh, equal uh, to 1 over 4. It means that the temperature at the central point is the average of uh, the temperature of the neighboring uh, nodes. This is the well-known discretization of the Laplace equation in finite difference discretization. 
But here, you, you pay attention that these coefficients, the interpretation of these coefficients in Monte Carlo method is different from the interpretation of them in uh, finite difference, for example, method. In finite difference, we say that uh, the temperature of the central point is the average of the temperature of the neighboring point. But here, we say that these coefficients uh, show the probability of the motion of the random lock from the central point to the neighboring points. For example, if uh, p sub x plus is zero, this means that uh, the, uh, the random lock cannot move from the central uh, point to the right point, because the probability is zero. And also, uh, if the probability is one, for example, it means that the random uh, walker uh, has to go from the central point to the right point. point. Or if the coefficient of this, uh, for example, term is greater than this one uh, in non-uniform grid spacings, it means that the probability of traveling of the random walker from the central point, if this one is greater, to the uh, horizontal neighboring points is greater than the motion of the walker to the vertical neighboring points. Uh, when we say that these coefficients are uh, probabilities, it means that they have to obey the statistical rules. It means that the coefficients should be positive numbers, as you see they are positive numbers, and also they should be uh, less than one. Again, as you see, they are less than one, all of them. And the sum of all probabilities should be one. These are the fundamental rules of statistics. So uh, you can sum uh, these coefficients. Uh, you can simply show that the sum of these coefficients is one, not only in this case, but also in all other discretizations. And here I have written a, a permutation of the Monte Carlo method for uh, somehow complex equation. As you see here, this is similar to the Laplace equation, but we have a variable coefficient a as a function of x and y. Uh, consider that the uh, coefficient a should not be a function of t because the or the equation should be linear. So the coefficient is just a function of the independent uh, variables x and y. If you want to extend the first step to this equation, uh, for the sake of simplicity, I have just written the uh, form of the results when we have the identical grid spacings in both directions. So you can easily extend the, this for, uh, result to the non-identical grid spacings. Here a, a sub i and j means the value of, is the value of the coefficient at uh, the point i and j at the central point. The, you can easily prove these results. Uh, again, as you see, the, they are all positive uh, and, uh, numbers and less than 1. And the sum of them is equal to 1.